Hello my fellow smug ones, I hope you're all okay. Well I know what you're thinking, something's different. And yes you're right, my whole lower half of my body has been completely replaced and that's because I kept getting my leg confused with my willy, which may or may not be true. Anyway, the BBC has been told it needs to stop campaigning and be a broadcaster. Let's begin. Okay, as many of you all know, I don't actually have a dedicated upload schedule, so the best way to see my videos, as soon as I put them online, is by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell. Okay, this story is from The Express, and it says, BBC demanded to stop campaigning and be a broadcaster in heated Blue Peter Row. And to be honest, that's what they really should be, isn't it? They shouldn't be campaigning about anything. They should be impartial. BBC Blue Peter has been forced to drop its anti-meat message after it drew a furious backlash from Brits. And I'm not surprised, most of the entire UK are meat eaters. I'm actually a vegetarian myself, but I don't try and preach to others and try and convert them and things like that. If, if people want to eat meat, they should be allowed to do that without people going on at them. Blue Peter was offering its famous badge, but in green to children who promised to go meat free. So they're basically saying, I'm sorry, if you eat meat, you can't have one. And that is really bad, isn't it? Rebecca Ryan from Defund the BBC hit out at the message and said it's not something everyone can afford. Speaking to talk radio, she said they don't see a problem with spreading this climate panic among children. Children have been through an awful year where they've been separated from their friends and they've been scared witless by relentless messaging about COVID. And now it seems they want to preach to them about being a vegetarian, doesn't it? Now it's back to climate panic controversy of the BBC. When will the BBC learn? They shouldn't preach to people. Most of the time, people just want to watch just to sit there and be entertained with, without all the political stuff. But they just won't listen, will they? I think the BBC are taxpayer-funded social engineering and not everyone can afford to shop at Whole Foods. It's easy to provide a balanced diet without meat in it if you're not well off. We'll go on by what the article's about. I'm guessing she means it's not easy. But to be honest, I don't find it too bad and I'm not well off. But at the same time, like I said, I don't go preaching to people and the BBC shouldn't. People don't want to pay their TV licence fee to have this. Constant messages go on at them, do they? They just want to sit there and be entertained. And that's what something like Netflix and Amazon Prime, that's what they all seem to understand. And it's about time the BBC understood this really, isn't it? They need to stop campaigning and just get back to being a broadcaster. And yes, go to adverts. And that's what I've been saying for ages. And that way it would be companies funding the BBC rather than us, the taxpayer, which is how it really should be in this day and age. Anyway, let me know what you think. Here are some of my other videos for you to watch next. If you're a legend, click that like button down there. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.